On today's video, I want to show you how I edit my sports photos in Adobe Lightroom Classic and how you can take your photos from looking like this to looking like this. Hey, this is Daniel Mogg. Welcome back to my channel. And I want to show you a couple things today. The first is my creative workflow process from beginning to end, whether on a photo shoot or shooting a game, how I label and organize my photos, and along with my editing presets, my Lightroom presets I use to edit my photos. So here we are in Lightroom Classic. It is my still my uh, program of choice because one, I love the organization uh, that it comes with. Uh, just to be able to find everything. I still use Lightroom Mobile for on the goal or if I have like a couple photos I want to use, but let's just say you're at the end of a game or a practice or event um, and you want to store your photos and really edit through them. This is the, the scenario and this is what I do. So first come in here, go down to import. And I love to try to start with my organization just straight off the top, getting as organized as I can. I've created a new uh, Lightroom catalog here um, for the 21, 2021 NFL season coming up. So I am uh, really excited for that. So I've got my picture started. Normally I would have done a better job and had a clean card from the start of a game, but I didn't in this scenario. So um, let's go with here. So I generally, I like to build smart previews to go faster. Um, do not like to import duplicates because it takes up some more space on my hard drive. Now the template I use is I do the shoot name and original file number. Um, that way it's just easier to organize. You still keep the same numbers that you shot with so that every shoot you're starting from zero uh, or one every time and just having the same pictures with a certain amount of numbers. So that way there's a little bit of continuity among the shoot. And then I don't do um, any of the develop settings or metadata at the import really for me it's about the keywords. So I'm going to come here, a couple of my keywords that I've established, summer camp, Seahawks um, for right now. So that way, when I go and search anything, um, I can go back and find it. Also do the year as well. And then, so let's go into folders and how I organize things. So. Um, starting off here, I've got my hard drive, created a new folder, 2021 20, NFL season, photo folder, catalog. So I do an asterisk with the catalog because that's where um, this will start. And then I go up here for this, um, whether it's a game or event, I usually go by and name it. So I will name this summer camp. And then since this was over multiple days here, you'll see that inside um, of there, it'll be each individual day with different photos on there. And so um, back to this with the shoot name. So I'll just go the year 2107 was the month July and we'll do summer camp. So you could do, or if you wanted to split this up by day, you could. I didn't shoot a ton of photos um, over the week, so I'm just going to, uh, for these purposes, just keep it under one. But you could, if you wanted to, um, go by the day and then put each one in by the day. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to keep these um, in names all uh, just generic and then the file number. So once you do that, we will click import and uh, go grab a cup of coffee, maybe uh, make a snack and come back here and hopefully everything will be converted. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel, I would love to stay in touch. Hit me with a comment below and let's get back to work. So all the pictures have been loaded here into Lightroom. As you can see, they've got the tags on them. So then what I like to do is then come over into this develop section and I just take my little arrow keys on my keyboard and I go through one by one and I just hit um, the, le the letter P if I like it for pick you can see there flag is pick and I just go through and like to to pick which ones I like even uh, if even if it's just a little bit um, I'll go ahead and pick it and I can go back later and really decide if I want to edit it or not. I used to use that star system 
here and it just got kind of tough to decide well what's a five star what's a three star and so for me it was easier if i was immediately gravitated toward the picture i just went ahead and did um, a p for pick and then that way bang um, i could go through and pick the photos that i wanted so i'm going to go through for time purposes uh, and just pick one that i already know i really like and edited before so we'll start with there i don't think it's that one actually i think it's right here we go okay so i'm going to hit pick and so then so you come down here to this bottom right and you hit flagged and so from there it it picks all of the photos that you flagged and then so say it's after a game practice event i come in here so after i've hit after I've hit the flag button, I collect them all. I'll create a collection. So we'll go ahead and do summer camp. Include selected photos. So that'll pick all of these. And then bang, I have an album. So I do this after every game or an event. So that way you can go back in um, and just pick through which photos you like. So there we are. So everything for the most part is pretty much organized, ready to go. Um, now we'll get into the editing. So I'm going to do two things first. One, I'm going to show you how to edit, um, just kind of a standard way and what I like to do. And then the second will be, I have a host of Lightroom presets, as you can see down here. Um, user presets, these are mine over here. And so I'll show you how I edit those with these. So let's say you've just shot this picture. I'm going to come in and so let's say you've just shot this picture. I'm going to come in and we will um, just get it ready and dial. So first thing I see here is uh, his face looks a little bit underexposed, which makes sense because we're, we're outside. Um, so I'm going to bring the exposure up just the hair. And then I'll bring these highlights down. And then now we'll just add a little bit of contrast. Bang, so we're getting that dialed. And then this is already a little saturated, so depending on your look, um, I'm going to even take some out. I really love the clarity filter for all my sports stuff. Just gives a little bit of extra sharpness um, in there, as well as the haze for some of the background stuff there. You can even see um, that that brings out a little bit. So rust, and for rust, the skin tone is a big thing, so I just come in with the orange. Um, you can see obviously how that changes some of it there. That looks a little too much. And that gets them dialed. You can also, if you're wanting to change the skin tones in this color grading section, you can see how uh, the mid tones there will also change it. Um, sharpening, I'd really like to add some sharpening to it. Noise reduction, we're outside. It's not too much noise. And then um, I'd really like to remove chronic aberration and then lens profile as you can see it switches there a little bit and then so and i generally like a little bit of vignette and just a little bit of grain so that's that there you can come in here it's a vertical um i generally like to come over here to four by five for instagram generally Bang. that's pretty much good you can see here the before and after um, so nothing too crazy on the edits and really it's just playing with it here you can maybe add some textures if you like that's like a little bit too much if I was getting really fancy I could come in here with the brush and the exposure and maybe just um, Brighten up his face just a little bit here. Let me bring it down just a hair. Oop. Maybe there. And then add a new brush. I like doing clarity, a little extra clarity around the eyes as well. Maybe make those eyes pop. All right, so there you go. You see that there. Um, 
can see the before and after. And then now let's go into some of the presets that I have as well that you can purchase on my website. Okay, so here we are back to square one. I'm gonna show you some of my Lightroom presets that I like to use and we'll go from there. So if we could start, it's a little bit similar to what I just did, basic correction, just gives a nice little curve on it. Um, you still have to tweak it a little bit here as you can see, but basically that's kind of your baseline for where I'd like to start. And so we'll reset here. We've got a more film look that I like to use. Um, that obviously might not work the best. You have look based on the lighting, but you can um, do some of that. It's got kind of that just the bleach look a little bit on there. And then the next one is kind of a more intense look there, a little bit more orange driven. Um, this obviously is very specialized and won't work for every single one, but uh, for the occasional, I guess, warm photo outside it, it might generally work. This is super warm if you're trying to get maybe a little bit of sepia tone, Blade Runner type of, type of look. Um, you can work with that as well. And then for me, you have your generic black and white. I still love black and white photography. You can see here when it's really clean with the whites and the darks, it just looks incredibly clean. And then for me, really the big kicker um, is the moody one. Uh, just a big, just a big mood, as I like to say. It's got um, really crushed blacks. Um, the skin tones, obviously you have to play with that a little bit. Um, but here, just bump the saturation up a little. So skin tones, I got to dial up here a little bit get that looking right. And then really I've got sharpening noise reduction there. So as you can see, the mood preset is a big favorite and is one a lot of people have actually purchased the preset pack just for, but you can see quite a bit of difference between these two from the start of the original to this one here. And so if you go to my website, danielmog.com, you can check it out. I've got my uh, presets for XMPs and then also for um, older versions of Lightroom as well. I'm going to be doing a sale $50 um, off right now. So make sure you check that out. Since you're watching this video, I'll be doing it for a limited time. And thank you guys so much for watching. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I've been getting asked to do it. So uh, I'm glad to finally have gotten it done. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me in the comments below. would love to get back to you with any answers and I'll see you guys next time.